Hey guys, it's Tim with Decoding Panels, and I'm bringing you kind of a different uh, mail call slash pull list today. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the books that I got out of uh, Walmart grab bags, those three-pack uh, issue bags that you can get at Walmart uh, in the checkout area. A lot of people grab uh, some pretty sweet gold out of there. Uh, I don't know if I did or not. I mean, some of the stuff I'm really interested in. But you guys let me know in the comment section below if I got anything worth keeping or investing more time into. Uh, but without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you the stuff that I got right off the top. This is called Arrow number two. And I know Marvel puts in a lot of uh, second printings and, and stuff like that, and they mix in some variants and stuff in there. But this, I think, is based off of an anime. It's a second printing, and I have absolutely no idea uh, anything about this issue. So if you guys do, let me know if it's a story worth reading, because I'm always interested in checking out new stuff. But uh, beyond that, I think this is going to go to my daughter, because anime is something that she's interested in. So she'll get more joy out of it than I will. Uh, but moving on, let's go ahead and check out the second one. This is Yondu number two. Uh, it is not the Yondu that we know from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. This is the Yondu of the Ravagers, or the Ravagers from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, James Gunn. Uh, and that's what he looks like right here. So, uh, yeah, Yondu number two. My son would love this, so I think that that book is going to go to him as well. Again, he'll get more joy out of it than I will, because this isn't a particular title that I have any interest in. So, we will move on. To the next one, and this I know was a pretty big deal uh, back when it came out, uh, the Empire storyline. So Avengers, Fantastic Four, Empire. This is Empire number five, and this is the second printing of that. This is a story that I haven't read yet, but I definitely want to check it out. Uh, so I'm going to stick around with this, keep it, and uh, see if I can't get a hold of some other stuff uh, so I can read the whole story and figure out if it's uh, decent or not from there. Again, you know, if, if you guys know more than I do, let me know, uh, so that way I can check some cool stuff out. Uh, this one I already have a copy of, and I'm going to keep this one because this is in better condition than uh, the one that I have. Uh, but this is the variant edition for Alien, number one. This is the Ron Lim uh, variant cover. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm going to keep that. This is absolutely stunning. Uh, wonderful, amazing. Ron Lim is a favorite artist of mine, and I really enjoy the stuff that he does, and he shines right here. So yeah, I'm going to be holding on to that one. Uh, next on the list, this is something interesting. This is The Amazing Mary Jane, number six, and this is the variant issue. This is land issue cover. Uh, I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so uh, this is something that I'll hold on to uh, unless uh, the story doesn't grab me, and then I'll pass it along to my daughter because this is something that she should read uh, and get more excitement and enjoyment out of than I would. But, I mean, it's a land cover, so you can't go wrong there. Uh, next, we have Black Widow, Widow Sting, number one. I am unsure if this is a variant or not. I think it is, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, so there's the issue for that, Black Widow, Widow Sting, number one. Again, this will probably go to my daughter. Uh, and, and guys, it needs to be said that when I buy comic books, uh, especially with these grab bags and stuff like that, I don't buy them just for me. I've got two kids that uh, adore comics as much as I do, and they have their favorite characters. My son's favorite character is Hawkeye, particularly the uh, 80s rendition or the original costume with the you know the little purple wings and the, the blue and the purple and stuff like that. So I try and feed that every chance that I can. And my daughter has favorite characters, too. She's a really big Harley Quinn fan, uh, as most girls are. Um, and and I don't that doesn't bother me because uh, any character is a segue into other characters and other stories. And if they start in one place, they will work their way to something different. So I'm very okay with that. Uh, moving on, the next one I have is Thor... Number 9, Legacy Number 735. This is Donny Kate stuff, so I know it's going to be good. Uh, but I haven't read any single issues of Thor in a long time. Uh, so yeah, take a peek at that. That looks pretty sweet. I think that's just a regular cover. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. But it looks cool. This looks like the costume that uh, Thor was using in Fortnite. So there you go. 
Uh, next on the list is, this is from the Gamerverse, Marvel Gamerverse, so probably the Avengers video game. This is Avengers Black Widow number one, and this also is a variant, and I really dig this cover. It's got Taskmaster on the cover, and I love Taskmaster as a villain. Uh, and, uh, spoiler alert, I did enjoy Taskmaster's portrayal in the Black Widow movie, so, you know, there's that too. But uh, that looks absolutely fantastic. I love the way that that looks. It has the MCU classic costume, Taskmaster here, etc., etc. It looks looks absolutely fantastic. This is one I'll hold on to just for cover alone. Uh, next we have, now I've seen the, the full collected edition of this in Walmart and Target and other stores like that. The History of the Marvel Universe that Mark Wade did writing for. And this looks absolutely cool. I really dig this too. So, yeah, that looks awesome. And you've got Captain Marvel, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Jane Foster, Thor, Ms. Marvel, and Black Panther there. And then Doctor Doom, Thanos, looks like Ultron, and what is that, a Sentinel? Yeah, that's what it looks like as a Sentinel. Maybe Kang, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, it looks cool. That's that's the whole point of it. This will probably go to one of my kids, probably my son, because uh, it's got more characters that he's interested in uh, than than my daughter would be. Next we have, this one I'm keeping, obviously, because it's Avengers, and I'm a big Avengers fan. So this is Avengers number 688, uh, No Surrender, I believe is the story, and this is a variant edition too. Uh, so it's got Captain America and Iron Man on the cover. Check that out, pretty cool. I dig it. Uh, it'll go in with the Avengers collection, absolutely. I love the team books. Team books are really awesome to me uh, because of... You know, the whole point that they were made was so that way everybody's favorite characters or the most popular characters could all be in a title together and they could have adventures and save the world and, and do things that only the Justice League or the Titans or the Avengers or the X-Men could do. You know what I mean? So there you go. And these two are always beating each other up. So, you know, nothing new there. <laughs> but uh, moving on. This is one. Uh, now, this is a story that I'm just starting to get into. I've got a couple issues having to do with the story itself, but this is X of Swords, uh, creation number one, part one of 22. This is Hickman, so uh, we all know how good X of Swords is with Hickman, and Hickman has been hitting grand slams with just about everything he's been writing uh, in recent memory. So, you know, there you go, X of Swords, creation number one. Awesome. Dig it. And this also is a variant cover too. So that's pretty cool. I dig variants. I don't care if they're one in fives or one in tens or one in a millions. That doesn't matter to me. I just love the fact that they're there and it's an alternate artwork for a cover. And it's uh, something that I can have and say, hey, I got a variant cover. Uh, here we go. This one's obviously one I'm going to keep. This is The Amazing Spider-Man number 11, Legacy number 812. And this is a second printing. And this has a really awesome scorpion on the cover. Take a look at that. That looks pretty sweet. Now I know some of you guys might might be screaming at your computers right now because I'm using my fingers to touch comic books. Well guess what? That's what the, they were intended for in the first place. And they'll go into bags and boards after I thumb through them after eating Cheetos. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean they're comic books. I'm going to look at them. They're, they're not Action Comics number one or Giant Size X-Men number one or anything like that. You know, so I'm going to take a peek at them, flip through them, smell the pages and all that stuff. We got uh, two more here. Uh, we got this one and then another. This is one of those lenticular covers. Uh, I really dug this when I was finding them in Walmart before. And I already have this one here. So I'm probably going to pass this one along to my son because, again, you know, it's it's a team that he's really interested in. So this is Guardians of the Galaxy number 146. This is the lenticular cover that has Infinity Gauntlet number one on it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Look at that. that. Looks great. Got the light and all that stuff. And then, there we go. Check that out. That looks awesome. I love these lenticular covers. It's a great big throwback to the 90s when they were doing all the weird and zany chromium covers and ultra awesome editions and things like that. And I just dig stuff like that. Uh, they're gimmick covers and I get that and I love it. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll buy them every day. This one, this one I was really excited about that uh, I got out of those uh, three pack grab bags at Walmart. I bought four of them total. And I don't mind to do that every now and then. 
just to see what I will get. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this because I've never had one before. And it's a sketch cover, so it's, so it's a blank cover. So I'm going to take it to a convention whenever I can find one around here that I feel like going to. And I'm going to get something done on the front and on the back. But this is uh, House of M Secret Wars Variant Edition number one. This is a blank one. So, I mean, yeah, if you guys know a super awesome artist uh, that may would like to do this, uh, have them get in contact with me through uh, Codex, through either this page or anything else like that, and we'll talk and we'll see what we can do. But, uh, yeah, blank, blank. And then uh, the cover itself, if you guys haven't seen that is right there. Now, I haven't read this particular story from Secret Wars. I've read a few of them, and, and it's hit and miss, but uh, some of them were really good. Uh, some of them were not that good, but Secret Wars itself was pretty awesome, and if you guys haven't read that, I highly recommend that you uh, get into that because it's a fantastic story. But, all right, I think that is it. So, that's all the stuff I got from the Walmart grab bags, uh, four in total. Uh, if I have anything there worth keeping, let me know. Uh, if I should just give it all to my kids, let me know, or, or you know, whatever the case may be. But uh, once again, you know, guys, um, if you haven't checked it out, go take a look at decoding panels. There's lots of cool stuff in there, uh, lots of cool stuff coming for decoding panels. And then obviously you have the Codex podcast, and that comes out on Wednesdays on Twitch, which you guys need to check out if you haven't already. We have a great time. Uh, sitting there talking comic book news and the do you knows which is one of my favorite segments uh, and stuff like that and and all kinds of other cool stuff and we review a book every week so go definitely check it out and if you don't have time on Wednesdays on Twitch uh, then you can always find it on Saturday when it's uploaded to YouTube all right once again guys my name's Tim I do I'm do the narration for decoding panels and I will see you next time